So ladies and gentlemen, social media is a two-way street. On the one hand, you can use it to improve the quality of your life and you can use it to promote your business, to build a personal brand, etc, etc. But on the other hand, it also has a dark side and you can become extremely dependent and addicted to social media. In this video, I'm going to be giving you three practical strategies that you can use to manage your social media use to make sure that you do not go over to the dark side. Ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I encourage you to share the video, like the video, and let's get the ball rolling. My name is Estian. Welcome to Goals and Growth. Now, firstly, it is important to stress the necessity of daily planning. It's important to stress the necessity of a daily schedule and a daily routine wherein you allocate certain times to work and you allocate certain times to obviously relaxing. Now, what I like to do when I know that I'm going to be busy with a project, whether it's recording a video, whether it's editing a video, I set aside one to two hours solely on that. Sometimes I just put my phone in airplane mode and I throw it on the bed or I put my phone in another room. Now, this has been a great strategy thus far, and it has really helped me personally to control my social media use. Because just think about it. If you leave your phone right next to you, right? Not on silent, not in anything or normal mode. You're going to get notifications all of the time and you're going to be tempted to be distracted from your work and going over to those notifications and give attention to them. That is taking away from your productivity. It's not only taken away from your productivity, it's taken away from your overall focus, from your overall levels of energy because you're spending so much time and energy on reading the messages and taking all of, in all of these notifications that you're struggling to focus on what you were busy with. So make sure that you allocate certain times to work, certain times to relaxation. If you have 30 minutes break, then it's completely fine to use your phone. But you have to have the discipline to say, now my break is over, I'm putting my phone in airplane mode, and I'm continuing with the work that I was busy with. An important realization that you need to have is that social media are the highlights of people's highlights. They showcase the best moments of people's best moments of their entire lives. So there's no need to feel like you are missing out on something. FOMO is a real thing. The moment you get up in the morning, most of you immediately grab your phone and you scroll through TikTok, you scroll through Instagram and Oftentimes, I'm still guilty of this, and this is why I need to speak on it. I need to hold myself accountable, and I need to hold the rest of you accountable to yourselves, because the moment you start scrolling through those feeds, and you see all of this enjoyment, all of this fun, all of this perfect lifestyle, you think to yourself, that, but wow, my life really sucks. What am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. Don't be a victim of FOMO. Just remember that no one and oftentimes only very few people showcase their true challenges on social media, showcase the tough times, showcase the times that people don't really hear about. So don't get brainwashed by this. Don't feel like your life is so terrible, your life sucks, and you could be doing better. You could always be doing better, yes, but it's subjective. It's your journey. It's your journey to self-improvement. It's your journey to a better future you. And you need to stop comparing your chapter one, as I said many times, to someone else's chapter 20. The third and final strategy for today to prevent you from becoming an addict to social media is having someone in your life that holds you accountable. Having someone who is more ambitious than you who, or who is equally as ambitious as you, that's a good person to have in your life when it comes to this type of situation because they will hold you accountable. If they see you spending the entire day on social media, scrolling through reels, scrolling through TikToks and not being productive, They'll call you out on it. They'll call you out on the BS, as simple as that. They'll immediately tell you that, listen, you could be using your time more wisely. You said you needed to get this project done, so why aren't you doing it? You need that person to light a fire under your ass every now and then. Because without that accountability in your life, you are going to remain the victim of social media addiction. At the end of the day, it's all up to you. It is all up to your level of discipline and consistency, and it's all up to... What's more important to you? Is it more important to you indulging in temporary dopamine from these reels and TikToks? 
or is it more important to you achieving your goals is it more important to you building the life that you've always wanted and you've always dreamt of the choice is yours my friend make sure you make the right one ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch today's video if you found value in this video and this video really changed your whole mindset about social media please leave a like leave a comment down below with your thoughts i would really appreciate it just remember that you can also download my free ebook in the description i actually have three free ebooks but i'm going to put one of them down below in the description you can download that for completely free give me your thoughts on it please i would like to receive some feedback from you go and follow me on social media my instagram handle is down below in the description thank you for watching once again and i'll see you next time